Plains Games with Jay. All right, me and Nidai. Let's see. Um, I guess I'll just talk to him. Let's magnificently. We already did this shit. Okay. Don't talk to me. No matter where I look, every area is decorated with strawberry patterns. I don't hate strawberries, but if these patterns continue, I might get start to get sick of them. According to Monokuma's map, the only thing on the third floor is the park we're currently at. Then it looks like I don't have any business on this floor. Just so you know, Hajime, let me know whenever you're feeling thirsty. No. Is he talking about a soda fountain? Let me cry into your mouth. <laughs> I don't really want to drink anything that comes out of his eyes. Um, there you are, you fucker. <laughs> Hey! Uh, to, can't, to, get me, can't, get me, can't get me! Like, can't the, get me! Can't get me! Can't get me! Okay. You got me! Okay. Man, I hope we get free time before we are before we're forced to do another trial immediately. Um. Man. Okay. Let's see. Oh, whoa. I'm not used to this. <laughs> yeah. According to the map, there should be guest rooms in, la in the lounge. I'm just floor. stumbles on this. Just, ah, what, yeah. What's going on? <laughs> all right. I shall go explore the guest rooms. The lounge is all you. Yeah, got it. Uh, Okay, so this is the lounge. Oh, no, this is not the lounge. This is just some candy. Um, yes. It would be room. maddening being locked in the building with the, this background. <laughs> hmm, so this is the lounge. This is also completely covered in strawberries. It's going to be difficult to relax here. I guess for now, I should look for things I might be able to use. <laughs> what the fuck? Hello! There's an old portrait hanging on the wall. Why would there be a portrait like this? Seems out very out of place. Also, the pl pl placard, placard placard on this portrait. Hope's Peak Academy founder Izuru Kamu Ka Kamukura. Why would a portrait of someone as important as the founder of Hope's Peak Academy be in a place like this? Also, this name. It's so hard to pronounce. Phone. There's a telephone. The fact that there's a phone in this building is clearly suspicious. Will I be able to call someone with this? When I walked toward the phone, I immediately noticed it. Well, what's this? Instead of number buttons, there's a single button with a grape image on it. Well, why grapes? Why not strawberries? Well, for now, I'll give it a press. Ah, it sounds like it's connecting to somewhere. But no one's picking up. What a mysterious device. It may be used for summoning rituals or grapes. A novice shouldn't carelessly touch it unless you want grapes. It's probably not that dangerous. Aside from the button, it looks like the, any other regular telephone. But it doesn't look like a normal or work like a normal telephone. Yeah, it doesn't look like a normal telephone at all, huh? <laughs> I don't even know where it was connecting to. Jeez, what's going on? My four dark divas of destruction are investigating the area, but it seems there's nothing of note to report. Why have you given up? There may still, they may, blah, 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 blah. there may still be something on this floor we have not searched yet. Yeah, you're right. It's still too soon to give up. Good. I leave this matter to your discretion. All right. I just try exploring the first floor I haven't seen yet. Um, I'm gonna keep looking at shit though. What is a clock? Next to the wall clock. I know what time it is, but knowing the time isn't gonna help things. Yada yada. Okay. Get the hell out of here, Hajime. Okay, I know you guys are trying to bone. Um. Well, yes. Why are you standing around here? Weren't you gonna go check out the guest rooms? Well, it seems that the standard room over there is already occupied. Occupied? I should go explore another place first. Hold on, let me look at... Can I go inside these rooms? Alright, if he's not doing his job, I'm gonna investigate every goddamn room. Okay. Weird. Okay. Um. Oh, those are lollipops coming out of the skull. I what thought, did you think they were? I thought they were like octopus tentacles. I was like, it's weird. Yeah. Just making sure. Oh. Like they were curled up octopus tentacles? Yeah. 
However, I never expected we lose three people during my absence. Yeah. That is kind of fucked. He comes back, he's like, oh my god, three of you died? Yeah. Hiyoko and Ibuki. Oh. Those two were quite the noisy bunch. It's as, it's as if a fire was smothered. They would have enjoyed the roller coaster. <laughs> uh, uh, want some cola? And I cannot believe <laughs> Mikan was the one who murdered them. That's why, no matter what shape you're in, we're all extremely happy that you came back to us. Uh, then I must live up to everyone's expectations. As long as I'm here, I will not tolerate any more victims. I won't allow it! Oh god, no more cola. Please, stop it. <laughs> He's like Frankie in One Piece with all his like really weird yeah. like. <laughs> I feel like it's probably a reference. I can hear voices inside. Sounds like someone's in there. <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> no, no. Hey, what do you want to talk about? Yeah. Well, you know. I'm sure you don't want to hear this since I caused a similar incident. And I already know that a guy like me has no right to say this to you, but. <laughs> but when I look at you, I just have to say something. Let's spit it out. You don't need to act so stubborn, you know? Because I know what you're going through. Huh? The only reason you're standing here right now is because someone sacrificed himself for you. You feel guilty about that. Isn't that right? Hey, what are you talking about? So you don't want to be honest about it, huh? Well, I understand that feeling too. Seriously, what the hell are you talking about? But like he said... It's better to just be alive. It might hurt to look at his painful appearance right now. But you're much better off because at least he's still alive. I mean, for me... Sorry. Are you crying? Right now, I feel very grateful to her. But I can't tell her that anymore. But you're different, so... Make sure you tell him how grateful you are. Wait, so what are you trying to say again? I quietly left the guest room so they wouldn't notice me. Dude! No, but the Monokuma doll's in there. I gotta go back in there. I'm sorry. I'm going back in. Fuyuhiko took the time to talk to her, but it looks like Akane didn't really understand the conversation. <laughs> but anyway... No, the doll! It, it might be better, Jay, if you just don't go in there right the now. The doll! And then you forget about it and miss it. Oh, God. Okay, let's see what the crummy room looks like. Oh. Eh. Uh. Okay. Okay. Reminds me of, like, the room in, like, Tatami Galaxy. Mm, yeah. Uh, where's the first floor? Third floor? Stairs. Okay. Oh, 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 God. Oh, 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 so much scarier than that roller coaster. Yeah. There wasn't anything terribly important on the third or second floor, but that doesn't mean there's nothing here. I should look around thoroughly. Um, sorry, seeing the bathrooms made me think, <laughs> is Nekomaru gonna show up? But <laughs> here we go. Yeah, no, I don't go in there. This building is peculiar. Look at the inside of this bathroom. I can't take a peaceful shit like this. Preventing me from taking a good shit. This house is certainly defective. I don't know about you, but whenever I'm apartment hunting, I'm definitely, like, I always check out uh, what the bathroom is like. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm like, the bathroom's gotta be good. Elevator. Otherwise, you only take creamy shits. <laughs> uh, isn't this an elevator? But that's weird. The only stairs are between this building's second and third floor. Does that mean there's a basement? There's a button next to the door. A grape image. It's the same as the button on the lounge telephone. What will happen if I press this? So without really thinking about it, I try pressing that button, but it's not reacting at all. Is that order? I don't really get it, but it looks like this elevator is, isn't usable. Okay. What happened? Did you get tired again? No, I was just thinking. Why strawberry? Huh? Why is that? Personally, I think tantries are fine too. Or even fruits like peaches and apples. Yeah, any of those fruits would have been fine. Then why strawberry? Who, who knows? She screams, WHY?! <laughs> Such a mystery. Yeah. What was that conversation just now? 
I don't want to talk to you, Soda. You think I'm a traitor. <laughs> um, How about me? Well, let's look at this final dead room. This door looks like it's giving... It gives off a different vibe compared to everything else. I don't know. Maybe the smiling, soulless clown on it. I don't know, Hajime. The final dead room? Allow me to explain. The final dead room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Monokuma. Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the Octagon, the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dead room. Life-threatening game? What the hell is that? Did he just say I can obtain the ultimate weapon if I win? How stupid. Who the hell is going to do that? What is it, Hajime? Did you find something? That final dead room place sounds uh, suspicious, but going inside might be a little dangerous. Monokuma did mention a life-threatening game. It's not even worth playing if all you get after winning is a weapon. Now then, the other should be at Strawberry Tower at the far back of Strawberry Hall. Let's get going already! Okay. What am I, Hajime? Nope. Love you. According to the map, Strawberry Tower is on the other side of the door. Uh, there's no doorknob. There's no way we can open the door like this. Maybe you just have to press the button that's next to the door? Impossible. You know, the one that has open written on it? I wonder what that means. It's funny, it's spelled just like the word open. I... wait, seriously? Anyway, I just have to press this button then. Nekomaru raised his right arm and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. What the? So this is a strawberry tower, huh? This building is shaped like a huge circle. Plus, the ceiling is so high I can't really make it out. Jeez, more of these bright red decorations. What terrible taste! Well, with a name like Strawberry Tower, I guess the terrible decorations are intentional. That's right. This is Strawberry Tower, right? Then why? Why do I see something that doesn't match the strawberry theme at all? Yeah, those pillars, super tacky. Oh, and that ugly Monomi face on the bottom? Yuck. <laughs> there's a huge door at the far back of the tower, but there's a grape image on it. I thought this was Strawberry Tower. Wait, this image. Doesn't it match the one in the first lounge, uh, on the lounge phone, wow. On the lounge phone and also the one we found near the first floor elevator? God damn it! <laughs> Stop walking away! Perhaps this door might be the exit. Huh? Exit? Take a look at the map we received from Monokuma. There's a door at the far back of Strawberry Tower, but nothing is drawn on the other side of that door. Now, doesn't this mean that the exit is on the other side of this door? Therefore, we must try to confirm it by opening this door! Nekomaru let out a battle cry and grabbed the doorknob tightly with both hands, and attempted to pry the door open. However... What does this mean? The doorknob won't budge, not even one bit! Is it locked? You know, actually, I forgot. I was going to have you do Nekomaru. I want you to do your best Nekomaru uh, impression for a bit. No. Yes, you have to do it. Okay, uh, uh, I don't know if my voice can go that <clears throat> Well, shit, it appears to be locked tight. In that case, I shall use my full power! <gasps> hey, pretty good. Thanks. With a, well, we'll switch. With a fierce roar, Nakamaru put all his power into grabbing the doorknob with both hands. But. but. <laughs> clatter, clatter, clatter. <laughs> Not yet. Here it comes, the incredible strength of one million horsepower! Whoa! See, that's a Nekomaru right there. Wait, isn't it creaking? If you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here. That would be bad. So, should we discuss this with everyone else first before you attempt to force your way through? Hmm, you have a point. Very well then. Even though the door would have opened soon, I'll give it a rest. Then, let's go back to Strawberry House and discuss this with everyone. You know guys, the reason why I have to go up and get water all the time is that Jay only has tiny glasses for his guests, and he has one giant glass for himself. I'm gonna take a photo of this. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so, just, just for reference. 
<laughs> Look, w before we started this channel, I didn't think I was gonna have many guests over. So really I was like, not. So so listen. I have the gl I have a glass that's about the size of my fist. He has a glass that's about the size of a pitcher. So I have to constantly go to his water cooler to get more water. Listen, that's all I'm saying. And I'll probably tweet this photo later when this episode comes out. Oh my god. Look. <laughs> Maybe I'll go to Ikea and pick up another big glass. Oh, well, okay. Ooh. <laughs> Fancy living. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> it, the picture is hilarious. <laughs> hmm. Is it just me or does it seem rowdy by the elevator over there? Did something happen? Are they arguing about big and small cups? <laughs> God damn it. Soda is just like, because he's you. He's like, oh, I get the big cup. Yo, how are you guys doing? Were you able to get a general idea of Strawberry House's side? Strawberry House's side? That's a strange thing to say. It sounds like there are other buildings. Of course! That's why there's this thing called a contact elevator. Contact elevator, you say? Even though it's an elevator, it's a big mistake to think that moves vertically. This is an elevator that travels along a rail, so even moving horizontally is easy as pie. Then, does this elevator go to a different building? That's right, the Grape House! Grape House? The Fun House is an enormous building that's made up of other buildings. Well, we can worry about the details when we get to Grape House. I'll be going ahead! I don't really get it, but he just wanted to tell us to go to Grape House this time, right? And that we must ride that elevator, right? Oh, what should we do? <laughs> We just have to go for it! The only way we can overcome this situation is to make a move! But still, you know... <laughs> what? You scared? Ah, no. oh, hell no! Why are you saying that in front of Miss Sonya? Huh? Fine, I'll fucking go. <laughs> I'm not scared at all. I'm different. Well, I don't have it as bad as Kazuichi, but I do have a bad feeling about this. But we can't just stand here and do nothing. Alright. Kazo! Oh. When I pressed the grate button next to the door, it immediately opened. We stepped onto the elevator and, we, and off we went to the grape house. Is this already moving? If so, that'd be awesome. How so? I mean, it's not vibrating at all, right? This is probably a really high performance elevator if it's not vibrating all that much. Maybe it's not actually moving. All right, let's open the door and make sure. You cannot. That is too dangerous. After staying inside the vibration-free elevator, eventually the door in front of us suddenly opened. It appears we've arrived at, we've arrived at our destination. So this is Grape House. No matter where I look, everything is plastered with grape patterns. I was already fed up with the strawberry patterns, but this is also unpleasant. Okay, welcome to Grape House. Now then, allow me to explain the Grape House. Ta-da! This is Grape House in its entirety. So, let's start explaining the first floor. Ahem. Aside from the fact that there's no final dead room, it's basically no different than Strawberry House. Just like how there's a Strawberry Hall over there, there's a Grape Hall on this side. And when you go through Grape Hall, that means there's a Grape Tower. The second floor of Grape House is the same as the second floor of Strawberry House. I've prepared five guest rooms, yeah, yeah, relaxing lounge, but the main attraction of Grape House is obviously the third floor. The Monokuma Archive! Everyone loves the Monokuma Archive! If you want to know about my proud accomplishments and contributions, feel free to study the literature here. Now then, this concludes the tour. But I believe it'd be difficult to understand if I just explain with words. So you should all use your own two feet. Check it out! Check it out. Check it out. Like, I'm starting to get hungry. Where's the food anyway? Huh? Is that necessary? W what are you saying? Of course it is. But it's supposed to be an escape game. So how can there be any tension if there's no time limit? So, I've decided to use your stomachs as the time limit. What do you mean? Well, simply put, 
It means kill someone before you starve to death. What the heck? <laughs> if you're planning to kill someone, I highly recommend you make your kill as soon as possible. It'll be too late if you get so weak you have no energy to kill. Hey, hey, hold on. Starve. Damn it. How much more of this do we have to take until he's satisfied? Uh, was he serious about there being no food? No way. That's the one thing I don't want. I don't mind starving as long as I can eat. Just let me eat already. As soon as she learned there was no food, she was overcome by hunger. Obsessions are truly annoying. But at least try to stay calm. Now is not the time for you to panic! <laughs> 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 well, being loud here isn't going to help us, so for now we should explore the inside of this building too. After all, if you don't give up, you're sure to find hope. Isn't that right for you, Hiko? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Don't yes. talk to me. Then let's get started. The same pairing as before is fine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hold on, this time I really want to pair up with Miss Sonia. She already left with Gundam. Ooh. Uh, uh. Looks like you're being avoided, not just rejected. Damn. Kasuichi, I understand that you're feeling down, but we'd better get going. Uh. Akana, you too. How much longer are you going to stay shocked? Come on, let's go. With heavy steps, everyone left to explore Grape House. Now then, where should we start? Since we're on the first floor, it might be okay if we start with Grape Tower. Huh. So you're saying we're, you're going to start with the most suspicious place. All right! Let's start with Grape Tower! Let's start with Grape Tower! Anyway, let's find the exit. Better get some water from my small cup. <laughs> do you want, if you're going to go over there, do you want to fill my big cup? No! Fuck you! <laughs> Damn it. There's no way I'm going to let myself starve to death in here. Or die I, of thirst. I was noticing this. Is this Sakura? What is this muscular bronze statue? It's probably an ornament, but doesn't fit the ambience at all. And there's a name written on here. I don't like that. Mm. Does that mean it's a statue of a really cool person? <laughs> Why is it wearing a sailor uniform? Let's see. Look, Akane. That is your parent. <laughs> this, that is your mom. Yeah. You had two moms. Yes, Aoi and Sakura. And there you are now. <laughs> um, okay. So nothing else really here. There's no bears around. Lots of clocks. Sorry, the way, when the gray pattern was coming out of the bathroom, I thought the bathroom was steaming. Uh, I was like, oh my god, what's going on? Yeah, don't go in there. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> da, 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 da. Grape Tower is beyond this door, right? Just like at Strawberry Hall, I only need to press this button. All right, leave it to me. Necromar raised his voice and vigorously slammed the buttons more times than he needed to. Huh. It's not opening. That's weird. When we were in Strawberry Hall, this should have opened. Don't tell me it's out of order. Find time for it to break down. Well, it obviously shouldn't. ka -chunk. Did you hear something? And that's when Nekomaru started shouting. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> the door opened. But what was that pause just now? Why didn't the door open right now? Right now? I mean, right away? Right so away. this is Grape <laughs> Tower. Hmm. The structure of this building doesn't seem all that different compared to Strawberry Tower. Yeah, you're right. The building is the same circular shape, and the ceiling is just as high and hard to make out. However, this wall is green. Strawberry Tower's wall is red. Speaking of different, there's something blatantly different over there. On the grape ta uh, tower door at the far back, there's a strawberry image on there. Uh, yeah, sorry, I was so bored. A strawberry <laughs> door inside Green Tower. <laughs> that sounds complicated. It's like the opposite of Strawberry Tower. As I recall, there should have been a grape image on the ba far uh, back door of Strawberry Tower. Hmm. So on the strawberry side, there's a grape door. And on the grape side, a strawberry door. That's even more complicated! However, this time, this door might connect to the outside! 
It's obvious by looking at this map, so there's nothing beyond the far back door of Grape House. If so, the only thing we can do is try it! Hold it. I heard what you guys were discussing, but it'd be pointless to even try. I think. W what did you say? Before we get to- oh, before we get to that, why are you here, Chiaki? Weren't you here with Nagito and Kazuichi? Were you making fun of me? <laughs> it's... exhausting to be around those two. So you ran away. <laughs> Chiaki's like, those guys suck. Yeah. Um, that door doesn't lead outside. I, th I think it's pointless to even try it out. Definitely. Definitely, you say? It's rare for Chiaki to be that certain. I have a good reason for that. I think I found out the secret of the fun house's structure. The secret of the structure? Want me to tell you? Do you want me to explain it to you? We'll pay close attention to each house's relationship to its respective tower. First, try to remember the first floor of the Strawberry House. From the elevator, Strawberry ha uh, Hall is on your left-handed side, right? And if you walk along it, you'll end up at Strawberry Tower, right? On the other hand, Grape House, from the elevator, Grape Hall is on the right hand, it's on your right hand side, right? And if you walk along it, you'll end up at the Grape Tower, right? Now here comes the main point. With those two buildings... Ah, so you were here all along! Shit. <laughs> hey, Chiaki, don't go running off on your own. You disappeared so suddenly, I was worried about you. We were in the best friends club. Kazuichi. Nagito. Did you not like the theme song? We are in the best friends club. All of us together. Hope, hope, hope. Hope, hope, hope. <laughs> no. Thanks to your disappearance, I was left all alone with Nagito. It's Singing stupid. the best friends yeah, song. Oh, God. Uh, was that annoying for you? Hell yeah, it was. I don't want to be alone with a creep like you. I gotta say, the song was kind of catchy, though. Hope, hope, <laughs> hope, 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 hope. <laughs> I see. So it's not just Hajime. You don't trust me either, huh, Kazuichi? Hey, are you okay? Have you stopped trusting other humans? <laughs> well, yeah, thanks to you, bastard. Huh? Oh, you all came. Good timing. We didn't have to waste any time gathering people. That was quick. I thought your investigations would take more time. There aren't many areas to search, and we didn't find any good clues. Right now, the only one thing I found out is... There's seriously no food anywhere! This ain't funny at all! I, I heard that it's super painful to die from starvation. Before that happens, why don't we, you know, the hamsters that Gundam carries around? You imbecile! What are you implying? He is my boyfriend. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry! They are my children now. Kazuichi. You should be grateful to my girlfriend, Sonia. If you got in your hands my four dark divas of destruction, your body would be incinerated by hellfire. But are the hamsters going to be okay without food? Fortunately, the flowers blooming in Strawberry House's indoor park are cursed flowers from Hell's Garden. As long as those seeds are there, the four dark divas of destruction shall not lose a single hit point. I am relieved to hear that. Now then, let's listen to your reports and see what you guys have found. Personally, I'd rather let Chiaki continue her talk, but... Oh well, I should listen to what everyone has to say. Is it fine of Gundam for you, Hiko, and I represent our teams and give the reports? Huh? Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Rejoice, mongrels. I have discovered something that you fiends will be happy to hear about. Yes, our team's discovery is number one. We shall not lose. I think their priorities are slight off slightly. <laughs> okay, let's listen to Gundam. <laughs> now then, I shall present to you my discovery. I won't let you say such nonsense like, I forgot. Monokuma said it himself before we arrived here. He said there are ship parts in the funhouse. Could it be? <laughs> Kazuichi and you lowly humans. Fall to your knees and show your gratitude to me, the overlord of ice of the destroyed world of death. Feast your eyes on this. <laughs> Behold the motor! It's a ship part! I love that the hamster is also there. 
based on its extremely small size, isn't that... That's just a radio-controlled toy! Allow me to tell you a little old story. I was born as a result of a union between a human and a demon, and my existence was shunned by both races. Perhaps it's because nobody has ever bought me a toy before, but I believe this is truly remarkable. I'm not asking about that. You mean the ship part you found was just some radio-controlled toy? Hee-hee, <laughs> you totally got tricked. I never said a single word about the ship being real, stupid, idiot, moron. Bye. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we don't even have the strength to get upset. It might be better if we leave him alone for a while. You know what? Let's leave Soda alone for a day. And pick this up next Maybe time. Maybe after a day he'll be feeling better. Yeah. See you tomorrow, Soda. <laughs>